Hello friends! Once again, this is RJ. And I'm back for another episode of do-it-yourself car improvement. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to install a steering wheel control on my own. So let's go! First, we need to remove the airbag at the steering wheel. This can be done by pushing the three clips hidden inside the holes around the steering wheel column. One clip is inside this cover, just open it up and you'll see the metal clip. Inside it, you may be able to see a small metal solid wire, that is the clip, and by using a screwdriver, just push it until the air bag pops out on one side. Now, rotate again the steering wheel counterclockwise to see a small hole. Inside it, is another clip, just press it using a screwdriver until another side of the airbag pops out. You'll see the last clip through another small hole. Do the same to totally detach the airbag. Now, to totally detach the airbag, disconnect its supply. To do this, simply pull the orange clip using a flat screwdriver until a lock pops out. Then, pull the entire connector. Disconnect as well the ground wire connected at the airbag's body. Now that we have totally dismantled the airbag, let us now proceed with the replacement of the steering wheel control switch. The control switch has a wire harness connected to the clock spring. Just detach it by pressing inward the lock and pull afterwards. The control switch assembly is secured by two screws bolted onto the steering wheel frame. So just unscrew it using a screwdriver. You may use a power screwdriver for ease of removal. Then, just pull the assembly out and you'll be able to totally dismantle the steering wheel control switch. So just replace your stock unit with that of 10 key control switch, and follow back the procedure for reinstallation of the dismantled parts. Take a closer look onto the harness connector. 
just make sure that it has a complete 10 pins in it. That's because, on some units just like mine, the stock clock spring has only one pin. So I have to replace it with a clock spring of higher model. And that's it. We now have replaced our stock unit with an aftermarket audio steering wheel control. For the wiring connections and interfacing with the Android head unit, please do watch the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.